RV spy logs record all operations done to the application views or business object, such as AR customers, IC day in, etc. It also records third party applications and will record the read, fields value retrieved, and when updating happens. Normally, output is nested if one view calls another. RV spy logs can include the DB spy queries to show what database calls are made for a particular view call. To generate a RV spy log, first go to Start, then All Programs, then Stage 300 ERP, then Tools. Here, select RV spy. If you run an RV spy before, it will prompt you to override the previous contents. You want to say yes. The next step is to configure RV Spy to save the log to a file. To do that, click on the Options menu, then Output. Ensure that file has been checked, then enter the path and file name of the log you wish to save. Anything that you log will be put in this folder and the files will be called rvspy.log. Everything else you want to leave as default. Click OK to save. Next, log into Sage 300 ERP. Note that Sage 300 ERP must be running for RV Spy to capture logs. Let's begin capturing some logs. For example, Invoice Bachelors. When I double click on the Invoice Bachelors icon, you will see RV Spy capture actual calls made by the program. When done, Simply stop RV Spy by going to Spy, then Spy Off. Next, close the RV Spy window. At this point, the log files should be visible at the folder specified in the output setting. Here we see a log of the accounts payable module and all the information that was generated. This file can now be sent to Sage Customer Support for review. If this file is more than 5 megabytes in size, it is recommended that it be compressed using any of the free utilities available for download like WinZip. And that is how you generate a RV spy log.